Hello Aquarius, welcome to another love reading. This one's going to be focused on what's going on for you in love, what can you expect in love, who you might be dealing with, what are your energies between you, and what can you expect in the near future. As always, these readings are meant to be general, so take what applies to you, what resonates with you Aquarius, and leave the rest. Alright, so let's get into this. For Aquarius, what is coming Aquarius's way in love, spirit? What is coming Aquarius's way? What messages do you have for Aquarius in love? Looking inward, introspection, isolation, thinking. You're deep in thought, looking inward and seeking answers. Okay, this this I made this card because I was thinking about the hermit. So maybe uh, one of you in this connection is withdrawn or really looking inward, trying to figure out your next steps, um, what your connection is all about, where it's headed. Anything else for Aquarius? Anything? Any other messages for Aquarius, please? Hidden feelings, silence, suppression, dishonesty, keeping thoughts and emotions hidden only causes pain. Okay, so I feel like someone has feelings for someone else and maybe hasn't expressed it um, in this connection. Maybe there's something that hasn't been communicated that needs to be communicated here. Let's see, I'm going to pull some romance angels as well. Any other messages for Aquarius? regarding love please thank you to everyone who has liked shared commented and subscribed liking the videos subscribing it really helps the channel so thank you to everyone who takes the time to do that for aquarius messages for aquarius what does aquarius need to know in regards to love Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Okay, what else? What else for Aquarius? Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Okay, I get one more. So I think you deserve love. You are lovable. So I think this message is for those of you who I have calling in your soulmate at the bottom of the deck, by the way. I feel like this message is for some of you, those of you who already have some someone in mind. Um, you're getting to know each other. You are giving this relationship a chance. You deserve love. You know, you, you feel like this is something that's good for you. However, there's something here that hasn't been expressed with looking inward and hidden feelings. Something that someone has been thinking about that they haven't actually said to the other person. So let's see what the tarot has to say. I'm using the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot, I think that's what this one's called. All the decks that I use are linked down below. Messages for Aquarius. What is coming Aquarius's way in love? What is coming Aquarius' way in love? If I could keep my cards in my hand. What is coming Aquarius' way in love? What is coming Aquarius' way in love? Oh, we got the Four of Wands. Okay. Stability, strong foundations. What is coming Aquarius is what? Oh my gosh. In love. What is coming Aquarius? Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy there. I feel like there's something that you are attracted to, motivated to get done, um, something you have the confidence to go. It's like, it's like you, you have the confidence to make something happen. 
Could be also that someone's looking at you in this way. This Queen of Wands energy is very attractive, magnetic, lots of chemistry with the Queen of Wands, life of the party type of energy, very bright, cheerful. Someone could be seeing you that way or you're seeing someone else that way. For Aquarius, any other messages for Aquarius? What's coming their way in love? Six of Wands reverse. So there might be a delayed success or something where you're not being recognized. Your efforts aren't being recognized. Uh, you're not feeling very successful or um, maybe there's more to get done before you have success. We'll clarify and see. Tell me about the Four of Wands. What's this about? Why is the Four of Wands here? By the way, this message will not resonate with every Aquarius watching. Just because you're watching this reading does not mean this is your story. I'm reading for a lot of people, so there might be that not everything in this message resonates. So just keep that in mind. Take what resonates. Leave the rest. If this isn't your reading at all, check out that, uh, another uh, reading, the one next week or the one before this one. Um, or check out your other placements if they're more prominent in your birth chart. What's this four of wands about? Page of wands. Okay. Initial interest here. This this makes perfect sense with getting to know each other. Maybe there's an initial messages back and forth. Something new here. Tell me more about the four of wands. Five of Cups reversed. Something to do with the past here. Um, either someone has overcome disappointment from the past and is ready to move on to something more stable, something new. Um, or someone wants to recover something from the past. Let's see. Tell me more about the Four of Wands, please. Tell me more about the Four of Wands. Hermit reverse. Virgo energy. Someone has uh, withdrawn here. Maybe they were gone a long time. Maybe they were thinking about something too long or were withdrawn too long. Maybe they were ignoring their intuition or not listening to advice, not listening to wise counsel. Maybe they, you know, Close themselves off a little bit too much here with the Hermit reversed. But I feel like there's a message that this person, I think, is going to communicate this Hermit. I think it has something to do with home, marriage, stability, with the Four of Wands here, family. There's a message coming in here. I don't know if you're the one delivering this message, Aquarius, or if this is a message that you will be receiving. And for some reason, I think it's going to be from this hermit because I have these two cards here, looking inward and hidden feelings. Like this hermit has been suppressing or keeping certain thoughts and emotions hidden. Tell me about this Queen of Wands. I feel like she wants something. What's this Queen of Wands about? What is the Queen of Wands here? Nine of Pentacles reversed. What else can you tell me about this Queen of Wands? You know, once I feel like wants to be completely free of something. There's something that she is attached to, or there's an attachment here with this Queen of Wands. Tell me more about this Queen of Wands. Sorry for the noise in the background. The recycling truck is here. Five of Swords reversed. Okay, so something must have happened here where someone wants to... 
maybe uh, overcome a difficult situation, a difficult commu difficult communication that happened. Maybe um, there has been a situation that's been unfair uh, to you, and it's like someone wants to make something right here with the Five of Swords reverse. Five of Swords reverse also is, it, it can be a lose-lose situation where someone has had a defeat. Um, it, it didn't work out the way they thought it was going to work out. They sabotaged themselves. Let's see what else can we get here. What else can we get for this page of wands? Oops. Okay, we got two. Four of Pentacles reversed. Three of Wands reversed. So I feel like there's something here that... It's like someone's either being impatient about letting something go or they missed an opportunity by stubbornly holding on to something here. What's at the bottom? Temperance. This could have something to do with time. Sagittarius energy here with temperance. There could have been something here to do with timing, uh, balance, Something coming together in the right time. Someone taking their time, making something work here. That's what temperance is about. And when I look at these cards all together, um, I really, I, I just get the sense that in order to be free, independent, in order to uh, feel stable and secure and have something to offer, I feel someone has to let go of something. Either something that didn't work out in the past, some sort of conversation that happened in the past, some sort of defeat or loss that happened in the past. Someone needs to open up here and not be so guarded, um, not be so stubborn. And I feel like if this Queen of Wands is the one that wants to get this done, she will get it done. Uh, Queen of Wands gets things done. They have the courage, the confidence, the drive to make things happen. What's this Four of Pentacles about? What's this Four of Pentacles reversed about? Spirit, what's this Four of Pentacles reversed about? Empress death reversed. So with the Empress, I feel like, again, there, there's potential for something to grow, to expand, for something else. There's potential. Yet someone is resisting a change or an ending or still trying to wrap something up here with, with the death card, Scorpio energy. And again, it's like something dead or something done needs to be let go of in order for there to be growth and expansion and manifestation here. And at the bottom of the deck, I have the two of cups. So definitely some sort of growth or expansion in a partnership. In order for something to grow to happen, in order to give this relationship a chance, someone needs to let go of something that already happened. Someone needs to overcome the past and express how they feel or, or just let things go open up Tell me about the Six of Wands reverse. Why is the Six of Wands reversed here? Page of Pentacles reverse. Why is the Six of Wands reversed here? Wow, Page of Cups reverse. Interesting. Why is the Six That's sloppy. Why is the Six of Wands reversed here? Aquarius. Can I get one more, please? Knight of Cups. So what I see here, Aquarius, are delays. It's like false starts to expressing how they feel, false starts to beginning a commitment, delays, um, until eventually something changes. And then we get the Knight of Cups. What's at the bottom here? Oops. 
Yeah, I have the two of pentacles at the bottom. So it's almost like someone is thinking, you know, going back and forth about how they should go about this offer. Should I bring up commitment first? Should I talk about how much I love them? Should I apologize? What, which one should I, what, what should I do here? They're going to make a choice. What's this Knight of Cups about? Tell me about this Knight of Cups for Aquarius, please. Spirit. Why is this Knight of Cups here? Okay, we got judgment. Someone's making a judgment call here. And again, judgment is about the past. Judgment is a card about evaluating the past, learning from your mistakes, having some sort of personal awakening, some sort of rebirth because you have evaluated everything that happened in the past, because everything, it's like you're ready for that next stage. Tell me more about the Knight of Cups. Tell me more about the Knight of Cups. And then we have here the King of Wands. Can I get one more for this Knight of Cups? Yeah, it's like someone's going to have the courage or the confidence to express themselves and express themselves in a big way with judgment. Full reverse. Interesting. And I feel like this is going to feel like a huge risk for someone. I have the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck here. Um, whatever this is here with the, um, with the full reverse, the full reverse can be, uh, delayed in the beginning. It can mean, uh, naively going somewhere without looking where you're going. Uh, but it also means taking a huge risk and not really caring what anybody thinks about you, about it anymore. Like, you have nothing to lose kind of energy. You're just going to go for it. So I feel like that's what this Knight of Cups is about. And I think it has to do with, it's almost motivated by how they feel. By love, by emotion, um, by strong feelings here with Ace of Cups. A new beginning in love is going to feel very risky for someone. But with the King of Wands, the Knight of Cups, and Judgment, like, this is someone that just is just going to say what they need to say. <laughs> And do what needs to be done. Like, this is someone that um, has a goal, um, has a, is on a mission, and is ready for either a second chance or rebirth, or is ready to just do what needs to be done and um, have that kind of, like, it's like almost like a, when I see the trumpet here, it's like this person's just going to announce it, you know? Like, listen, I just need to tell you how I feel, you know? I can't hide anymore how I feel. And I know this is crazy. You know, maybe there's a lot going on here that in your in your life or in your person's life, whoever this is, um, this could be somebody completely new, by the way, Aquarius, because I do have getting to know each other and give your relationship a chance. Um, but I also feel like some of you know this person because I have a few cards here that relate to the past. I feel like all of this is going to start with some sort of message. After someone does a lot of thinking, after someone has withdrawn and, like, hidden away in their shell, there's going to be a message here that is going to start all of this. And I feel like there's going to be some hiccups, too. Don't get me wrong with uh, what happened with, with this Queen of Wands here. 